Your phone's functionality will never be the same after trying out these open source Android apps because the features they offer are just phenomenal. Stick around because this list is not ordinary. First on the list is an app that will automatically turn on do not disturb mode on your phone whenever you open a specific app. And it will also turn off do not disturb immediately after you leave that app which is super useful when you don't want distractions when using a certain app but also want to receive notifications after you're done using that app. Plus, setting the app is simple, you just have to tap on the apps you want to auto DND and now whenever you open those apps, the app will do its magic. Second on the list is an app that makes updating any of your installed apps easier. And simply what the app does is that it scans the apps found on your device and then finds the updates for those apps from popular sources like GitLab, FDroid, APK Pure, Aptoid, and APK Mira, making it easy to find updates for any app that you haven't installed from the Play Store. Plus, the app gives you freedom to select specific sources you want to get updates from, an option to ignore better versions and pre-releases, and even the option to customize the app interface to your likings. Next on the list is an app that gives you full control of your system's dark theme in a sense that you set different wallpapers specifically for light and dark themes and the app will change your wallpaper automatically to suit the theme that you're using which is super useful because it fixes one major problem of having a bright wallpaper and that is it being too bright in dark conditions. If you want an extra layer of privacy on your device, then try out Amarok, an app that lets you hide any of your files with just a tap of a button. And to simply get it functioning, just tap on the set hidden files option, then select add hidden folder, then create a new folder on your device, then select use this folder, and now whenever you want to hide any of your private files, just move those files into the new folder that you have created and go back to the app and tap on hide, and that's it. Also, if you'd like to hide apps, just tap on more settings, then select switch app hiding mode and choose the method you prefer to go with for hiding apps, whether it's root, shizuku, dizuku or dsm. And hey, drop a thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. Plus, you can set biometric authentication for the app if you'd like a bit more privacy. This right here is a video editor that gives you all the basic features you need from a video editor, packing up all the basics from trim, resolution, scale, rotation, and a few others. And as of now, the app isn't as feature packed as other editing apps like CapCut, but the fact that it's open source and easy to use makes it worth trying. Next on the list is an app that takes your phone's privacy to the next level by allowing you to monitor and control hidden data collection done by your installed apps. And simply how the app functions is that it lets you see every tracker library of any app on your device which helps you understand which companies specifically are tracking you. The app also gives you the option to request data deletion, contact Google or the developer, and even block trackers if necessary. Also, the app has a tab that shows you where your data is being sent to, but it's not always accurate, so don't rely much on this information. Plus, the fun part is that the app will always inform you about how many trackers are in an app whenever you install a new app on your phone. Last but not least, this is an app that provides you the information about artificial additives found in processed foods. You can simply just search for any additive and the app will bring you all the information about that specific additive. And this app turns out to be super useful not only because it gives you awareness of what you're consuming but also helps you understand the side effects of what you're consuming. This is Saitoti, catch you in the next one.